nitrogen is essential for proper growth and development of all organisms. Though atmospheric air contains 78% of nitrogen, it cannot be directly used by higher plants or animals. Plants assimilate nitrogen and supply it to animals. Nitrogen cycle describes how nitrogen moves between atmosphere, soil, plants and animals. It involves various stages. At the end of this module, you will be able to Describe the various stages of the nitrogen cycle. The first step in the nitrogen cycle is converting nitrogen into compounds that can be used by plants. This step is called nitrogen fixation. The usable forms of nitrogen are mainly in the form of ammonium ions and nitrate ions. Nitrogen fixation takes place in nature through physical activities as well as biological activities. Some of the physical activities that fix nitrogen are lightning and industrial processes that manufacture fertilizers. Hot volcanic eruptions also promote the fixation of atmospheric nitrogen into biologically available forms. In the presence of high energy, the inert nitrogen reacts with oxygen to form oxides of nitrogen. These oxides mix with moisture and return to soil as nitric acid. Nitric acid further reacts with lime and such other salts present in soil to form nitrates. An example of the reaction is given here. Nitrogen is deposited from the atmosphere into soil, mainly through precipitation. Now, let's understand how nitrogen fixation occurs through biological processes in the soil. Legumes such as groundnuts and beans have nodules in their roots. Observe closely the root nodules shown here. Rhizobium, a type of bacteria, lives in these root nodules. Rhizobium is a nitrogen-fixing bacteria that can convert nitrogen in the soil to useful nitrates. Some non-leguminous plants like alnus and ginkgo also convert atmospheric nitrogen to usable nitrogen compounds for plants. Cyanobacteria, sometimes referred to as blue-green algae, are a group of photosynthetic organisms that can fix nitrogen. They are present in soil and water. Anabena and Nostoc are examples of cyanobacteria. Thus, atmospheric nitrogen gets fixed or converted into ammonium and nitrate ions that are the usable forms of nitrogen. The next step is assimilation of nitrogen. Nitrogen compounds containing the nitrate and ammonium ions now present in the soil are absorbed by the plants to produce proteins. Animals that feed on plants get nitrogen in the form of proteins from plants. Flesh-eating animals get nitrogen from the animals they prey on. We humans get our requirement of nitrogen in the form of proteins from both plants and animals.
the excreta of animals as well as dead plants and animals are decomposed by certain microorganisms present in the soil. This decomposition produces ammonia which is then available for other biological processes. This process once again puts back nitrates into the soil. Nitrogen compounds in the soil and the dead matter are acted upon by certain bacteria to release free nitrogen back into the atmosphere. These bacteria are referred to as denitrifying bacteria. This process is called denitrification. Thus, atmospheric nitrogen gets recycled in nature. With this, we have come to the end of this module.